Here's the background radiation. Not much. Now we have the Wi-Fi on. Much higher. The Wi-Fi connecting on the iPad is higher still. The initial connection of any mobile device is higher. Persistent is lower. Now we have the European compliant DJI Raven Eye with the Wi-Fi on. Notice it's very low. Nothing coming from the camera either. So here's the Raven Eye in the field, literally, attached to the Panasonic Lumix S1. There's the link from the Raven Eye, and it's very good. It has the active track feature, it's very useful. It has the grid overlay, focus peaking, false color. But the Wi-Fi range is up to 60 meters. Compare that to the Panasonic S1, which still has Wi-Fi signal at 100 meters. Here's the transmit power information on the DJI website. Notice that the 5 GHz, which is a higher frequency and therefore better for transmitting video, also with lower latency, has a much lower transmit power in the EU. But apparently non-ionizing radiation has no harmful health effects, so why the difference?